Hey, welcome back to this rainy day at Minecraft. Hey, Bob. Wow, it's actually been a long time since I've seen you. One day he'll have a trade I'll want again. <laughs> um, so I went AFK and got a lot of bones. Time to expand the sunflower farm. Is this a farm? <laughs> Not really, uh, but I plan to make it massive. Not that it isn't already. <laughs> All right, I placed like 12 stacks. No, even more than that. Let's see how much it changes. Wow, oh wow, okay. Wait, is it not finished? Oh no, well. <laughs> uh, wow, yeah, we got a lot added. Man, I'm gonna keep going. I gotta fill this whole area. So, I have been working in the nether quite a bit, getting our mind going. And we've been doing all right. As you can see, we got some ancient debris right here. Ah, what the? No. Okay, I don't think it could destroy that anyway. But that would be crazy. You son of a gun. What the? Wait. Hey, oh, no, 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 no. Wait, it was a mistake. It was a mistake. Oh, I got it. Oh, God. All right, let me get this crap and get out of here. What I was trying to say is I would have mined more, but since this recent update, which is actually part of the new beta, they only added like two things though, which is kind of disappointing. Um, they, the mining is messed up, let me show you. So what I'd do normally, or maybe it's fixed now, what? Oh no, I can kind of still feel it. So normally an efficiency four pickaxe, as you can see here, would clear out really fast. So once I clear out a le three level high like this, I would then, go by and speed mine like this, and it would all clear it. But now, it doesn't clear it at all. Like, as you can see, it leaves a big chunk right there, so I didn't even get that, dang it. So now, the mining process in here is slowing drastically, so I don't even want to mine now. <laughs> Just figures, as soon as we want to start something, an update releases and then there's a bug within it. <laughs> all right, we can make two ingots. <laughs> two. Two. <laughs> oh, man, I really want more, and it's going to take so much. Forgot we had two extra turtle shells here. Turtle helmets. Notice mine's about to break. Good thing I caught that. I would be devastated if that broke. Have I repaired this before? I have. Or maybe not. Maybe that's just all the enchants on it. All right, let's get to work on something. Whoa, whoa. These horses just spawned here. This is like one of my favorite colored horses. <laughs> Oh my god, he's fast, and look at all those hearts. Oh my god, please tell me I have a saddle over here. Um, uh, no. All the saddles in the world. I don't have one over here. Uh, do I have a lead? I don't even have a lead. Oh my gosh, I know. If I fly over there, I'm risking it. I'm going to fly over here real quick, grab something, I'm going to come back, and he's going to be dead. I mean, not dead. <laughs> Despawned. Why does my elytra have no sound? Saddle. Let's go. Ooh. What the? Come on. I'm just gonna get off this game if he's not here. Oh god. No way. The others despawned, but he did. Oh, probably because I jumped. Good thing I jumped on him there. See what I mean though? Like how easily stuff despawns in this game? It's ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. Good lord, you're fast. You have amazing hearts. Now let's just test the hops. If he if he can make it up on this, this would be the best horse I've ever found. Oh my god. This, uh, the first name that came to my head is Betty. I don't know why, but your name is Betty. God, this horse is amazing. Okay, so this is the horse I've been dealing with for a while now right here. Okay, good. I didn't name him yet. Okay, so they're clearly fast. Their hearts are not that good, and the, I don't think the hops were... Well, maybe they were. Okay, they're decent. All right. God, that horse is so fast. He's walking away. Uh, uh, I'm just going to go put this one in the stables. Uh, mushroom. I need that. Whoa, these vines are really... Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize how much... He, I forgot we placed vines all over the house. Oh. I don't know if I like that much vines. Right there. Oh gosh. Okay. Yeah. I put a little bit too much. Alright, there you go. You look pretty excited. Uh, I want to fix this because that's going to bother me. Uh, off with you. Bad. Oh yeah, an axe makes it faster. Wait, I thought swords do. I don't have sword. Oh well. See, it looks alright, but when it overgrows like this, I guess that's the point of vines, though. 
Um, I'm not a crazy fan of the over, extremely overgrown look though. You know what? Some proper armor for you would actually be the OG armor. And you can match me. Do I want to use it though? It's been in here forever. Oh, it's, I, think, I think it is the first... What? See how fast this horse... What? What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Alright. Oh my god. Look how amazing that horse looks. See? Matches me. Come here. I can't stop riding this horse. That's so fast. And it looks just like the roach that owned that right there. If you didn't know, there's a lead right there because this is where I tied up Roach, which is my favorite horse. And it despawned. <laughs> Alright, um, so I think I want to get some of my supplies here and go rebuild the front of my lab. The door, that is. Not rebuild it. Well, kind of. Well, let me put this away for a second. I mean, Betty. Gotta wipe the dust off this one. Oh. Oh, I'm kind of scared to put it in my inventory, to be honest with you. <laughs> but I need it to pick up my ender chest here. Oh, good old minesweeper. First enchanted pick in this world, by the way. That's why I have mending on <laughs> Silk Touch, because I didn't want it to ever break. So I have to bring it down to the XP farm to repair it every so often. But anyway, to the task at hand, the front door of this place I like. I do like how it looks like, you know, just like a circled door. <laughs> so, and it's not changing drastically. I'm just going to make it look more noticeable. So, uh, let me experiment. No, I'm not cheating. <laughs> this is uh, the dark mode world where I got rid of all the torches. Um, it's just another version of my world. But if you didn't notice, we got two new features. And I want to kind of... Wow, I even took them all out down here. I want to see what it looks like. So, we got... That, oh god. Skulk sensor, so I think it detects move, no, vibrations, and that, pointed dripstone. Oh man, oh man. Um, okay, I need some lights up in here. So I wonder how well this will go in like a cave with gray stone, because it's a very like sandish color block. All right, oh man. You see, yeah, you see what I mean? Huh. It's interesting. I don't know if that'll look good down here. Oh man, wait, what? <laughs> Wasn't that the whole point of this block? Yeah, interesting. It would be a great block for that, but the fact that it does not match the stone, I don't, I don't know. I guess, uh, whoa. whoa. There's some weird shadowing. Uh, I look forward to experimenting with this block though, but it's not in survival mode yet. At least I don't think it is. Yeah, because I don't know. And then this thing. That weird. Whoa. Cool. You want to see how to make a door? All right. I'm gonna have to change a few redstone things. Ah. Uh, hopefully, I don't mess up a whole lot. I got a feeling I will. That's usually how things go. <laughs> Crap. Didn't really think of that. Oh, I got some redstone in the way there. Huh. Well. Uh. Huh. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, gotta be careful down here. <sighs> yeah, I forgot how complicated this actually was because there's a lot of... Oh, yeah, this is open into a cave over here. Alright, so we're gonna surround it with concrete like so, and then we're going to grab... Do I have some? I don't. Oh, that's concrete. Do I have some in here? Maybe. That might be enough. Might not. I'm gonna go around the outer edge like so looking better already then we're going to get some end rods and then we're going to get some we're going to get some redstone up in here oh yeah that looks much better <laughs> looks way more grand it looks like a proper science lab entrance so um there's a few things i'm gonna have to rough out such as this um i tried looking at it i can't really move that redstone so Maybe on either side I can... Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe I can just put... I don't have... Why can't... Oh, no, because then I don't have to have redstone to activate it. Uh, I was just going to put a trap door there. And you can kind of see some redstone behind... Oh, uh, whatever, I'm done for now. Let's go do something else. <laughs> How's my puppies doing? Did I give you the same... Oh, no, you have a gray collar. And who are you? Oh, blue. And who are you? I didn't name you. You're just stuck. Are... Wait, are you still stuck to the point where if I make you stand... Yeah, he just... 
He's stuck in the Enderman banner. <laughs> um, so in this world, I like doing these things every so often. Like here's one, an ice, my first iceberg biome. I like making them as pictures, like cool areas I find. I even got one up here. Well, you know what I mean. I want to go to the end and get some more. As you can see in the end, I do have my space station one right there. Um, I actually want to go get some maps of end islands and end cities and like the ships and stuff because I think I want to make a room in the lab where we're studying some end stuff and I want there to be like a bunch of monitors with all of that all over it. So that is what we're going to do. If I can find maps. There we go. Bob, <laughs> what are you doing down here? This place is nasty. You're telling me you, I'd, you want a whole emerald for a little red mushroom? Just go. Did you let go of your llamas? You're accepting this? <laughs> All right. Oh, no. They're coming. Little guys. Uh-oh. Better run. All right. Off to the end. Hey, buddy. You know, while we are here, I actually wouldn't mind finding some in cities to kind of loot because I need some more shulker boxes over the, I guess, has it been a whole year or two since we've tackled the end? I think over a year, but I've already used up all of them and I'm kind of struggling having more shulker boxes because I've kind of used them all and they've kind of just gotten lost over the years. So uh, I need some. Wow, it was very quiet in here. All right, so first off, I think I just want a picture of one of these islands just like this. How cool does it look? Oh, that looks kind of cool. We're collecting data for Slime Science Center. Actually, hey, we actually are. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna go for that one right there. Wow, that is, it looks so close because my render distance is all the way up, but that is very far away. Oh, dang it. Okay, ah, that's a wasted one. I'm just gonna throw that in the void. Goodbye. Um, let's go for this one. Son of a gun! Why can't it ever be in the center? Well, I guess that one kind of is, but I want the ship in it, too. All that is cut out. <sighs> Did that just teleport? Did you guys just see that? That shulker just teleported. Is that a bug or something? Because that has never happened before. All right, well, I'm guessing we haven't been to this one, which is really strange because it's pretty close. Mending stuff as usual. Whoa. Oh my God. I've never found, I don't think I've actually found a mending pickaxe yet. Whoa. I wanna take all this stuff, it looks so cool. All right, I killed a lot of them. Oh, there's one. Ow. Oh, there's one up there, crap. All right, so that means I haven't been to this ship yet. Just die. Why did he teleport? What? Maybe there's a new thing where they, they have a chance of teleporting. I mean, it makes sense. They're in the end. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of diamonds. Curse of... There's always curses. Ugh, got it. <laughs> Wait, did I take a map of this one? I can't remember. Yeah, I think I did. Okay, so I need to go to a different one. It's this one. I've been here, right? No, I haven't. Wow. Whoa. Another mending. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Ah, oh, I don't like mending that much. Oh my god. Oh god. Ah. My butt puckered there. Oh, okay. I like this one. Wait, this is a ship? Oh yeah, I was just at it. <laughs> so I just noticed these guys have not shot a single projectile at me this whole time. Bugs. Maybe map some of these floating islands. Ooh, nice. Oh god, don't get too low. Alright, at this point I am just lost, so I'm kind of just looking for one of them portals. 
Um, but I'm not seeing one, and I'm getting a little worried. Wait. Now there's just no end cities or anything like that. Do they stop spawning after some point? There's nothing. What's happening? Oh, mo! Oh, whoa! Whoa, that is a big one. There's something buzzing in my ear. Alright, I want to map this one, tackle this one, and then go home. Uh, I need to find a portal. Whoa, this one's so cool. Please all be in it. Uh, ah. Alright. Hold on, guys. Gosh, dang it, man. Well, I guess that's all right. All right. I don't, it's not going to be perfect every time, Dallas. <laughs> that's kind of cool, I guess. Well, I guess I'm going to scope out up here for a portal. Not much was in there. Just diamonds and more gear, such as this. Um, So, I'm going to go ahead and answer today's comic question of the day, which comes from Hydra Arc. How do you feel about living on your own? Yes, as many of you may know. It's coming up on a year now that I've been living on my own. Uh, moved out of the parents. All thanks to YouTube being able to do that as a job. I do not see a portal anywhere, but let me tell you, it is. it was probably one of the best decisions I've ever made. <laughs> not only because of the fact that I'm getting older and it was time to move out, but I'm a very like independent person. And finally being able to be independent is like such a wake up call to how I react to things stay healthy and you know kind of learn and i haven't taken advantage of it like i should have so far which is such as making videos about my actual life which i do have another channel for that and it has three videos on it but only three videos man i really slacked <laughs> and i just bought a new camera recently so i am going to actually be uploading a lot on there um but yeah, living on my own has been quite the experience so far. I will admit, it gets lonely at times. I've been thinking about getting a dog, which I really want a dog. But Ed is like a huge... If I wanted a dog, I wouldn't want to get a rescue or anything. I'd want to get a baby and let, like have it live with me my whole life. But that is like a huge responsibility because, I mean, dogs survive for like 15 years sometimes. Ugh, I don't know. There's a lot of decisions to make. But while I look for this portal, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. So thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. And I will see you hopefully in the next one if I make it home. Um, we're probably going to mess around with some stuff in the laboratory. See you there. Bye-bye.